Like, don't do that. That's just, that's more like a different kind of manipulation for people to like you. Hey, hello, my name is Augustus, and welcome to my channel. I learn about social barriers and norms to help people become their true self in life. So if you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and click that subscribe button and we will talk more. And today we're talking about having no skills, no social skills at all. Zero. What do you do? And some of you are like, oh shoot, that's me. And this was definitely me, like a while back. <clears throat> what exactly do you do when you have no social skills? Where do you start? This is where I want to basically uh, give you something that really helped me if you have absolutely nothing to go off on. Where do you go? So I'm going to give you one simple concept that will really help you be able to navigate through those social situations and enhance your ability to make friendships and relationships so you can be able to have a normal social life. And this concept is go up, don't tear down. It sounds really simple, right? The basic concept is whenever you're talking to someone, look for ways to build this person up and not insult this person or tear down this person. So for example, be let's say if this person is uh, score really bad on his test, his uh, one of his exams. What you can do in terms of building up will be like, hey, it's okay, try harder next time. Yeah, or like, hey, you know what, let's go out. Let's, let's go get some dessert, let's forget about this for now. Try to do things that will really encourage him to be in a better mood, to support this person. When you're tearing down, will be like, why didn't you start study harder? That exam was really easy. How can you bomb this? Like saying things that really make this person feel worse, tearing down, that makes everything worse. This is the very basic concept. And I know it sounds super simple, but this is what you need to implement in terms of your social interactions and will help you guide in terms of what to say and what not to say. Because if you constantly make someone feel like horrible every time they talk to you, they are not going to come back again. This means if you complain, criticize, insult, offend, people will not want to come back and talk to you again. Now let's go into a little more detail in terms of how do you make a conversation more enjoyable. The three things I have here is encourage, laugh together, and talk about exciting topics. First one, in terms of encourage, I kind of gave you some examples. If someone is feeling down, try to say things that will really build the person up. You apply those to the proper situations. Second one is laugh together. So when you share fun moments together, when you're enjoying something, that really builds that bond. So laugh at proper jokes, don't tell like, sexist or racist jokes, those are no-nos. Enjoy and talk about maybe fun movies, watch a com comedy. Fun movie, talk about things that are fun and interesting to be able to engage. This doesn't mean that you can never talk about sad things. It's just that in general, you want to talk about things that are more uplifting. And then proper balance it out with um, more like weighty and serious topics in your life, and that's fine. But generally, be positive. And last one, fun, exciting topics I kind of touched on a little bit. This can be novelty, like new foods, new movies that are coming out. Things that are new, that are interesting, that are unusual. So these are different things that you can talk about to make a conversation more enjoyable overall. Now, how do you make a conversation worse? So the first thing I want to mention is don't be a doormat. Like, be nice, but be 
nice in terms of your own principles. That what you think is do is right and wrong, and do it based on that. Don't be nice just to、uh, please people. Like, don't do that. That's just that's more like a different kind of manipulation for people to like you. So that will not make any conversation actually genuine, because it's not. And now to make this worse,、uh, for conversations, don't tell any racist, sexist jokes in general. And don't post them on social media with like weird memes because whatever you do on social media circulates. So if you insult someone, judge someone, judge someone, even if it's like harsh truths that people need to hear, like those things, they move around, and then you become suddenly become like this person that people want to avoid or don't want to talk to because you insult and you judge people, like. There's a fine line between standing on your principles and straight up just saying like, "Hey, you suck," or straight up just making fun of someone and belittling them. Like, don't do those kind of things. Th- those things make a conversation worse. Now let's go into some proper expectations. When you're talking to someone in terms of any social interactions, don't expect like a give and take. Like, I was nice to you. Then you must be nice to me back. Like, if you're going there with that kind of mentality and expecting people to return that favor within a certain time, or like if I say something, then you have to receive me or you have to approve, that becomes like a transaction. Like, then you're literally not being nice or not encouraging to this person,、uh, just to be encouraging. You are doing that so that they will do the same thing back. Do that without that kind of expectation, and then lifts up that burden of conversation and makes it a more enjoyable experience for you and the other person. Because that's what conversation should be like. It's light, should be fun, and should be enjoyable. So that is the one social tip that. I will go and tell people to implement when they have zero social skills, because I think it's a nice concept where it's very applicable to all different situations, and using it as a guideline will really help you understand how to interact with people. And now the question I want to ask you is: What is the best social advice that you have been given? And that's it. Stay strong, stay healthy, and I will talk to you next time. Take care, and then talk. Encourage and laugh, laugh together. I like this. So I'm gonna give you one simple concept that will help raise real. <laughs> What? Okay, check. Oh man, it was lagging.